Hello everybody and uh, welcome back for a uh, slightly different video today um, showing off um, a 747 um, and those of you eagle eyes who are watching have uh, probably already seen that it's not the Dash 8 um, it's the Canadian mods 747-400 uh, which I think is ported from Flight Simulator X um, now with liveries and bits being put into it as well which makes it quite nice uh, and working in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 uh, there are some issues with it um, I was just having a tinker before I started recording and uh, you can see already the beacon light which is on just here is just it's not aligned at all um, until you get to the right angle which is uh, pretty much straight on <laughs> and then you don't notice but that's because you're above it um, and there's no there's no other lights at all anywhere else on the aircraft so I've had a bit of a tinker and I've seen what I've been able to do and I'm using the salty mods um, 747 mod as well uh, I, I must admit I've not used the 747 since August because um, the long haul jets are just uh, a mess really on on the flight sim really really poor so I've only been using the A32NX uh, but here we are in the flight deck and uh, I've been having a little tinker speed brake keeps getting in the way uh, of the FMGC or FMC but I've been able to um, align the IRS um, and sort out a load of other stuff and I've also been able to fill out our route um, from Gal uh, Heathrow to Amsterdam uh, and I've been able to put in uh, airways and a few other bits as well which is quite nice uh, oh. so we've got a um, we've got a correct little route there as usual the simulator doesn't like Amsterdam for some reason so it ends, us, it ends up in a uh, really odd loop but um, I've been able to put it in fairly well and we've got the ILS which is the correct frequency for runway 22 at Amsterdam so uh, all of this looks quite nice um, the only thing that hasn't updated is uh, the course but I'm not sure it does in the Airbus so I'm not sure if it does on, on this or not um, but I've got no other pages to use um, they're actually using all of the um, flight deck instruments and bits from the 747-8 which is quite clever um, and apparently in this latest patch it might have fixed some of the way uh, well, the way that the autopilot flies the 747 but um, there are there are some overwhelming issues like the fact that you know, if you're flying at night time in this you can't um, because no lights work at all so if I turn everything on uh, that is on I think they're on as well it's just a weird angle yeah so we've literally we've lit her up like a Christmas tree Uh, let's put the runway lights on as well so well, that's every single light on um, if we go back to the view and put it into darkness we've got every single light on and we've got nothing so there are there are some issues like I said um, you just need to sort of work around them. It's quite nice to be able to have a 747-400 in the sim, um, and uh, we'll see if it if it actually works. I suppose um, I've got a load of fuel in and bits and bobs, so we'll just. Uh, I mean, I've not. I'm purposely not connected to that sim because uh, I don't know how well this is going to go, to be honest. Um, but yeah, let's let's just see if we can get it started. So what have we got? Uh, I think these can get turned to nav now. I think we might just broke it, but well, I don't know. We'll find out. So we've got our cutoffs there, and I'm um, just looking for the pumps. There's the engine starts. If 
fuel cross feed, turn off. Turn on left controller fuel pump. Turn on forward main fuel pump, on main fuel 4. Oh wait, these are over. Turn on aft main fuel pump 3. Turn on main fuel pump 3. <laughs> Turn on left stabiliser and right stabiliser fuel pumps. Good grief. Turn on main fuel pump 2. Turn on aft main fuel pump 2. Turn on main fuel pump 1 and aft main fuel pump 1. So. Wing anti icing, leave that on auto. 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 And. Uh, I can't work out why they're showing off there. We've got the APUs on. Right, so. One thing to note as well before I do start. Um, don't look in detail too closely. Because uh, you'll start to notice things like. Um, the wheels are actually look okay. But you'll notice that it is nowhere near the quality of what we're already used to on Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, especially the engines look. But this is, I mean, this is a model that's based on a simulator well over 10, so, hello, 10 or so years ago, so um, it's more of a uh, more of a thing that we're um, we're enjoying the fact that we can just sort of play around on a 744 for once, I suppose. So let's see if she starts. Uh, left low, uh, fuel low, centre right. I've not used any checklists. I basically, I'm not actually going to complete the entire route. I'm just going to see if I can get it to. Well, I was going to say, barely even heard it start. Actually, we'll probably want engine four. And uh, let's just push back and see what we get. Okay, pushback express is being stupid. So I'll just do it the old school way. Shift P. Not that I can actually turn. But we're not on VAT sim, so we're just, uh, it'll, it's going to be messy. Um, it's quite nice, we've got spoilers. We've got um, flaps. And slats and things. Yeah, so all of that seems to work. We seem to have good control of the uh, the flight controls. I have no idea how this is going to go. Hey ho. Uh, I'm just going to push straight back. And uh, right up to here then. We're just going to sort of taxi and see what happens. We've not got pushback express so I can't use uh, can't use this unfortunately. But I wonder if I can trick it. Uh, yeah. I wonder if I can trick pushback express. So I'm just starting that up now. No, so it's not working. And as you can see as well, it's uh, the 74-8 is longer, um, and the model doesn't quite connect to the tug. So there are some issues. With it. The paint's nice. I 
mean, it looks wise with uh, the fact there's no lights or anything like that. Uh, personally, I probably wouldn't use it. But it's nice to have, I suppose. Uh, they're all on now. I'm not sure if we can then. Okay, so they've already popped in, which is which is what I thought would have happened. Uh, that'll do for pushback, I think. It's so high up. So, let's see. There's no takeoff config buttons or anything like that for us. Um, but we are very light, so I don't endeavour that we're going to need much of a run up. <laughs> seven four seven four hundred, baby. And she is moving on her own power. So there's obviously no aircraft because I've got all of the settings off for when I use VATSIM. So we don't really need to be looking out for anybody coming. Um, we'll just pop down onto Alpha and turn right and head all the way down to the bottom. Turning circle's good. You know, I, I mean that's a that's a that's a turn at speed. Look how tight that was. Madness. I mean, you can tell it's not a Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 aircraft, but it's um, completely free. It's on flightsim.to if you want it. You install the 747-400 files into the community folder, and then the liveries, so the BA livery, uh, KLM, Delta are out at the moment as we as uh, as you as I as I record this, um, and you then take those livery files and then you replace the ones that are on inside the 747-400 folder uh, if that makes sense so it's still a drag and drop but it's uh, you have to put the liveries for this actually within the aircraft model folder within the community folder um, you'll see when uh, when when you're sort of looking at it you'll uh, you'll be able to sort of you'll see 